Shalom. Giving all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Akakodash. All right. Um, before I start the video, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone who rule well and worthy to be accounted double honors. And I would like to give peace and salutations, a hearty shalom to Yaakim, your brothers preaching the truth throughout the four corners of the earth with truth and sincerity in your hearts and for the love of the gospel. All right. And I am the brother Shamaria of GMS Indiana. All right. Um, and this video uh, is going to be pertaining to uh, two thirds of Israel. All right. Now, I was watching the video yesterday. It wasn't um, it wasn't a, a lesson the brother was doing. It was just a random, it was just a random video. And it was the wickedness in the movie The Black Panther, all right? And, and this guy was going over all of the wicked things that uh, that was displayed in the movie The Black Panther that just recently came out, all right? And uh, he said our he, one of the points that he mentioned is uh, our people were so hooked on that movie thinking that we were being acknowledged in, in Hollywood when actually that movie had nothing to do with uh, so-called negro or african-american culture that movie was solely uh based upon african culture all right which is not our people all right we are descendants of uh abraham isaac and jacob which is descendants of uh the son of noah shem, shem all right the africans are descendants of ham the other son of noah all right so we're we're not the same people all right we just have uh we just have similar uh attributes as in like uh, in our appearance all right we're both of dark skin you know and that's 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 what our people liken us to be africans okay all right the covenant wasn't given to him it was given to abraham isaac and jacob which came out of shem it wasn't given to the line of ham okay uh and and one of the things that he stated in that in that video that he did is uh, our people the so-called blacks latinos and native americans all right our people the israelites are um they're desperate they're desperate to to, to adopt a culture and that was, and i felt that was true he said our people are desperate to adopt a culture all right he said we were desperate to adopt a culture you know and I really, I really think that's that that was really that was on point according to the King James Holy Scriptures, man. That was on point, you know, because our people are desperate to uh, adopt another culture. Our people are so desperate to adopt other cultures that we adopt um, cultures that's not ours and do it better. Well, so-called better. Uh, a a, a two-third Israelite will be. And the reason I say two thirds is because that two thirds of our of our people are going to perish, due uh, pursuant to the scripture Zechariah thirteen and eight. Two thirds of our people are going to perish, but one third is going to be brought through the furnace of adversity and be delivered. You know, this is Zechariah chapter thirteen verse eight, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein. All right. The third, the one third is the part that's going to be left therein. That's not going to die. That's going to get delivered. All right. And then that one third is going to be the elect, the elect of Israel, plus the, the remainder. All right. The remaining Israelites and the elect are the prophets of the Lord. All right. Verse nine. And I will bring the third part to the fire. And I will refine them as silver is refined. All right, that's that trying, the furnace of adversity. All right. Um, it says, I will bring the third part to the fire and refine them as silver is refined and try them as gold is tried. And they shall call on my name and I will hear them and I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord is my God. And that's the one third. The one third shall call on his name, which is only one name. Which is when I opened up, I said, uh, "All praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai." That's the name that the one third is going to be calling upon. Right? That's how we know the distinction between the two thirds and the one third. The two thirds are trying to adopt other cultures, you know, but the one third is the only 
the, uh, the one third are the only Israelites that's going to come into the culture that was given unto them, which is the heritage, the heritage of the Israelites. But two thirds are not going to understand that. Two thirds of our people saying we're African. Uh, I, I'm a Buddhist. I'm a Moorish American. They're going to adopt the cultures of uh, other nations. Like um, there's a lot of there's a lot of Israelites into the culture of yin and yang, Buddhists. Um, you know, a lot of Israelites into Rastafarian. Uh, a lot of our people, and that's all. All of that shit is uh, witchcraft, man, because it says uh, in the book of Samuel, it says rebellion is a sin of witchcraft. All right. It says the first the book of first Samuel says the rebellion of against the Lord. Well, it didn't say against the Lord, but of course against the Lord. It said rebellion is a sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is, is likened to idolatry. All right. And our people are stubborn because they won't hearken to the words of the Lord and they're rebellious because they won't follow. Him. They rebel against the Lord. And that's why they're reprobate, because they have been rejected by the Lord. And that's the po that's the point of this video. They have been rejected by the Lord. Now going back to what I grabbed Romans eleven and seven, this is the this is the first scripture that I thought about when I when he said that when he made that statement in the video. He said our people are desperate to snag another. He said our people are desperate to adopt a culture. All right, because we have a culture. The only thing that our people know for sure. Is that when we were taken out of Africa and brought on slave cargo ships, that our culture was uh, beat out of us and burned, all right? But that's not reason enough to go and snag another one. That's reason enough to go and deep and uh, go go search deep and find it, you know, which is already found, all right? This is Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not obtained what he seeketh for. What does Israel seek for? A culture, a nationality, a heritage. You know, you got Mexicans all into the culture of uh, the Latin, uh, the Latin uh, over there in Portugal, Spain. You know, they, 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 the Spaniards, they got the culture of the Spaniards. You know, that demonic activity instead of following Israelites. You got our people, uh, the so-called Negroes, adopting every fucking thing. Then you got uh, the so-called Native Americans, they're adopting cultures, you know. That's the two thirds, man. They 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 have not obtained what they seek for. They're seeking for some kind of heritage, something to call their own. But when we come to them and tell them that this is your own, they reject it. All right, they're reprobates, man. So it says, but the election have obtained it. That's that one. Uh, that's the uh, that's the elect. You know, that's the one. That's, that's the elect that I mentioned about the one third. The 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 one third includes the elect. All right. The one third is not only the elect, but it includes the elect. It says that the election have obtained it. We have obtained the nationality. We have obtained the laws, our heritage, our culture, our practices, our teachings, our power. All right. Which is Yahweh through his son, Yahweh Shai. It says obtained it and the rest were blinded. According as it is written, God hath given them the spirit of slumber. All right. Eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear until this day all right so the lord has given them the spirit of someone so the lord cut those people off why because i believe it's jeremiah 8 this is why the lord cut those people off uh let me see if it's a 15. down a little bit up a little bit swaki it's uh it talks about my people have made a covenant with death and with hell they are in agreement there he is well this is not the one that i thought but this is a good one too this is uh jeremiah 83 that in death shall be chosen rather than life why are those people being blinded because they choose death. They are rejecting the knowledge of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh And our people are choosing death. And death shall be chosen rather than life, which is what? Life is the, the, uh, the scriptures, man. Yahweh by Shem is life. And death is everything other than him. By all the residue of them that remain of this evil family, 
That's why the Lord has blinded them, man. Eyes that they may not see, and ears that they may not hear. It says uh, about this evil family, which remain in this, which remain in, which remain in all the places where I have driven them, saith the Lord of hosts. And what this one of the places that the Lord have driven us is America. All right. Uh, let me get it. Let me, this is a fact that the Lord has blinded them, man. The Lord has literally blinded our people, giving them the spirit of slumber. All right, this is verse three. All right, these are the same the same people rejecting the Lord today are the same people that was uh, going off in the wilderness, man, seeing the great miracles, seeing the Red Sea parted, walking on dry land. All right, seeing the manna fall from heaven, and then they go and murmur to Moses, which really is murmuring to the Lord, rising up day after day, heart quickly set upon to do evil, you know. The same ones rejecting and saying Wakanda forever and we're Africans. This is our heritage. They're the same family. They're the same evil family that was going off in the wilderness, man. It says the great uh, Deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 3. The great temptations which thine eyes have seen and sign that says the signs and the great miracles. Yet the Lord hath not given you a heart to perceive. All right, so you see all of these great miracles, but yeah, you go and uh, melt down uh, metals and make molten images, and God's newly created, and you have a power. To, uh, you have a power. All right, you have a power. The, the heathens do that because they don't have a power. They have to worship something to be like us. But do we have a power where we go and be like them? It's it's, it's stupid, man. Our people are uh, two thirds of our people are highly demonic and stupid. Because why? Because the Lord have not given you a heart to perceive, and eyes to see, and ears to hear, until this day. All right, it's another one in Mark. I think it's the fourth chapter. It talks about uh, he that have an ear, let him hear. All right. Uh, I want to say four and eleven. Okay, it's four and nine. I think it starts at nine. There it is. All right, four and nine. Mark chapter four, verse nine. And he said unto them, He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. Now, everybody has ears, you know. Everybody has ears. But why did he specify if you have ears, let him hear? Because to understand this knowledge and understanding, you have to be able to, uh, the Lord has to give it to you. He has to give you the eyes to perceive, like I read in Deuteronomy. All right, now this is Mark 9 and uh, 4 and 9. And he said unto them, He that have ears, let him hear. Uh, he that have ears to hear, let him hear. And when he was alone, they that were about him, about him with the twelve, asked of him the parable. And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God, but unto them, that are without, without what? Perception, man. The Lord haven't given them perception. Without, all these things are done in parables, all right? That seeing, they may see and not perceive. So they don't understand when we go out there and say, you know, you're Israelite, right? Man, I'm an African. I'm from Africa. I descend from kings and queens. Like, no. When we was in, when we was in, last time, you know, when we was in Africa, we served hardcore bondage. When we was in Africa after we left, uh, after we departed in Africa before they picked us up on cargo slave ships, we wasn't kings and queens. We wasn't in rulership. When people say we descended from kings and queens, they were talking about when we were reigning in Israel, you know? Um, seeing that uh, with eyes, it's like it, that seeing they may see and not perceive, and hearing they may hear and not understand, at least at any time, they should be convert and their sins will be forgiven see at least at any time if you did understand and if you did perceive you will convert and your sins will be forgiven all right um i don't know what exactly i think it's like isaiah i think it's in the book of isaiah 29 
talks about uh being drunk but not of wine. They stagger but not of strong drink. Uh There it is. Isaiah 29 and 9. Stay yourselves, stay yourselves and wonder, cry ye out and cry. They are drunken but not of wine. They stagger but not of strong drink. Alright, so how are you gonna be drunken but you haven't drunk any liquor? You know, you haven't drunk any wine, you haven't drunk any strong drink. You drunk in doctrine, man. Alright? You don't understand. You 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 adopt the doctrines of other nations, which is going on. Jeremiah 10 says, be not like the heathen. All right. I'm going to get that next. It says, uh, you, 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 you stagger and you're drunken with doctrine, man. All right. It says, but not of wine, but they, it says they stagger, but not of strong drink. For the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. All right. Like I got in, um, Romans 11 and 7. The Lord hath given you the spirit of deep sleep. Through eyes you may not see. All right. It says you're not asleep physically, all right, but you're asleep spiritually because why you think you 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 take these different doctrines upon you and you adopt them. It says you have closed your eyes and have closed your eyes, the prophets and your rulers and your seers may be covered. All right. So the Lord has poured upon you the spirit of deep sleep, man. All right, and this is what you do when you uh when you sleep and you stagger. Jeremiah ten and one, hear ye the word which the Lord speak unto you, O house of Israel. But they're not gonna hear. Only only two two thirds are not gonna hear this word. All right, so that's why the Lord has poured them upon uh, poured upon them the spirit of deep sleep because they're not gonna hear. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. All right, when they when they go to this when they go to the movie theater wearing dashikis, all right, and doing this Wakanda forever, all right, that's not our culture, man. That's that has nothing to do with us, man. Hollywood produced that to keep you blinded and sedated, all right. And really, the spirit of the Lord put them on, put this spirit on them to make that movie for you niggas, man. Cause y'all ain't nothing but some fucking niggas, man. Y'all ain't no y'all ain't no Israelites. Oh, y'all by y'all Israelites by blood, but not by I mean, not by uh. Not by culture, all right? Because the Jew is one inwardly, man. You not you not doing the things of a of a of a of a Jew, all right? Which Jew comes from the word Judah, all right? You not doing the things of Israel. Verse two, thus saith the Lord: Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. All right, so learn not the way of the heathen. So. You know, learn not, that's the commandment, man. Learn not the way of the heathen. That's the word of the Lord speaking through Jeremiah, all right? The commandment not to do. Learn not the way of the heathen. Be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are, for the heathen are dismayed at them. For the, for the customs of the people are vain. For one cut of a tree out of the forest and work of the work of the hand, uh, and work of the hands of the workman with an axe. All right, and this one goes into the, uh, the doctrine of Christmas and they cut off a tree out of the forest and they deck it with silver and with gold. All right, but it it it, it, it need it must needs to be born. It's a lot. It's kind of early, but um, I'm gonna end it up with that one, man. Uh, I'm gonna end it up with that one. How long? Uh, let me get one more. Yeah, I'm going to close it up with that one. I'm going to be at work shortly. All right. I hope this video is edifying. All right. I hope this video is edifying to the elect and to the elect and the one third only. And until next time, Aki and I'm going to say Shalom.